this production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes. We have episode number 46 here for you today, and it is an amazing game on McGeckin's War that we are not going to want to miss because this one is going to be one of the very longest Tales of Heroes games ever. We have DGN Gets Laid, that's uh, Diglo Ninja, constantly laid, versus Laid by a Hobo and Nystrom. Some very good players here and it is going to be a fantastic match. So, let's get right into it. I am Bridger, AKA Adam Ruzo, from the Game Fire Network, GameFire.com, and with me, as always, is my diligent co-host, Vittensby. Welcome to the program. It's always good to be here. I'm really excited. We have uh, Rogers on the show to cast this with us, and a yeah. uh, quick music challenge uh, before we introduce Rogers. Uh, I'm listening to a band because this is the longest uh, Tales of Heroes ever. And uh, the four initials are DCFC. And the album starts with a P and the album ends with an S. And if anyone can guess what it is, I'd be very surprised, but I would be very surprised and it would amuse me. So if anyone wants to take some uh, ooh, ooh, interesting 98 degrees. Guesses, oh wait, oh wait, that doesn't... That doesn't go on what it is, and Bridger's killing the momentum. But, Rogers, pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me on the uh, video replay here, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an extremely long game, so Grab everyone some get some vodka, get some water, oh, get whatever vodka. you need, because it's going to be, what is it, like over an hour long, I think? So Yeah. Uh, get we'll comfortable, because it's, it's going to be... 890K or something like that, and the files we normally get are 500 or, or 600 at most, so we're a good 20% longer. You know, Tales of Heroes, now 20% more content. So let's get right into it. <laughs> That's all right. As long as Dave doesn't uh, forget to cap a VP this time, I'll, yeah. I think we'll all be <laughs> I agree. <laughs> all righty. Let us hop right in. We're at the five-second mark for those of you following along, playing the home version. Let's start in five, four, three... Two, one, unpause. There we go. We've got a weapon support center coming up from DGN and what looks to be a barracks at the outer edge of his base by Constantly Laid. And let's take a quick look at the map here. You've got the three main victory points. McGeckin's continuing to be one of my favorite 2v2 maps up there with Lorraine and uh, and the new Point du Hawk. And very much, uh, we were talking a little bit before the show about how the new Rails and Metal is also very well balanced. Um, so compared to our lack of one one player map or two player maps, rather, we have a dearth of very good two v two maps. Would you guys agree to that? Agree with that. Uh, I'm McGeckins is my favorite map personally. Uh, Lorraine's pretty good, but pretty Emba. Um, but uh, I think McGeckins to me, a lot of people probably would disagree, but I think it's one of the most balanced maps. So what do you think, Rogers? Yeah, I definitely love McGeckin's. Uh, it was in beta too, wasn't it? Yeah, yep. if I yep. remember right. It was yeah. one of the beta maps. It was definitely, yeah. It's definitely one of the best maps. And I always liked Point Du Hawk, but it was always uh, imbalanced, and I hated how much fuel was on the map. But now that they uh, changed it around, I really think it's great. And same with the new rails. So. Yep, absolutely. Tend to agree. All right, let's so check out the early game that we've got going on here so far. We've got what looks to be a two-pio start by one of the players, a one-pio start by the other and two engineer starts by both of the allied players, machine gun and rifle squad versus machine gun and Volk squad. So very almost identical mirror match here. The only difference is one of the allied players has uh, built two pine or two engineers versus the one pioneer on the right. I'm just really side. surprised that I'm seeing a weapon support center opening. Um, yeah? I, yeah, this is a total I mean my opinion, total rifle spam map, but maybe that's just me. I mean, MGs can shut it down pretty well, but I don't really feel that allies are really that well off by going with a weapon support center considering there's so much cap. Uh, what do you think, Rogers? Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. It tends to, That tends to be a setback uh, anytime you tend to want to go 
uh, weapon support center, you're always lacking that capping power unless you build like three engineers or something like that. But even though it helps you lock down the territory sectors that you get, your enemy will just run circles around you and cap the rest of the map and avoid your defensive position. So I definitely have to say the weapon support center is much riskier. But it seems yeah. like they're using it very well here, especially you working together having the rifles cap and, and the machine gun able to defend them and really knocked a big chunk of life. I mean, that's like a good 25% of that Volksgrenadier's life is already gone. So the next battle they get in, they're probably going to lose a soldier very quickly, and that's going to hurt their firepower. So, I mean, that was just very, very well Can you say up. crawl bug on the Volk? I was going to mention that. Yeah. yeah. Crawl bug. They're better now. Just have to give them a bunch of orders. Another thing I noticed that uh, is really cool is is something I like to do is after you get a couple of squads out, because this map is so large and a lot and on a lot of the other ones where you're going a very long distance for the first engagements, get a motorbike or a jeep early to back up your forces because they can get there in time in order to make, you know, the difference. Whereas if you're building another machine gun or you're building another Volk squad in the very first battle, you know, as your third unit that's not necessarily going to get there in time to make a difference unless you're waiting. We've got a we sniper got here sneaking sniper through, Sniper upcoming, almost sniper getting killed by the mortar. Yeah, he's in big trouble. Almost went a little that's too far interesting. forward. second unit, though, is a sniper. That's probably a good call since they got the WSC there, but... Yeah, that MG is just in a completely bad position. Uh, some nice yeah, room. he's moved it. Oh, he's gonna flank it. Is he? Oh, he's gonna he's, get yes. a flank on all those rifles. Yeah, he is but with a machine mind. gun. Wow. One squad's gonna make it to cover, and the mortar will take it out. It's too bad. Yeah. Okay. So we've got one pinned rifle squad here. The other one is. Oh, nice mortar! Wow. Oh. That that's an excellent use of a mortar here. You don't usually see a mortar as like one of your first or second units, but they are working well, so well together, that this mortar is protected by the Volks, and Ooh. as a result, oh wow, he actually hit his own guys by accident. But that sniper's going crazy too. How many units has it killed? Killed the uh, MG. I love it when axes try to be aggressive. Wow. It always puts humor into into the, my game. Yeah, it does. You're right. It entirely killed the machine gun, so it killed three guys there, and I think it killed at least three rifles or something in that engagement. It's still alive. We might have Hans the second on our hands here. Not likely with the Jeep coming up. True. Well, <laughs> there might be another Flak 88 waiting for that Jeep. You never know. Yeah. Pretty static front uh, right now. Yeah, of course, close. the the early game is always about those two fuel points. Um, that's why Axis is being so aggressive on there. If you can take that, you can completely out tech, um, out tech the allies, and uh, vice versa. If uh, Axis you lose that plus ten fuel, but allies have a pretty good dominant control on the map on the right yeah, side. It looks like uh, Axis is too. Axis players are too preoccupied with the left, um, didn't send enough to the right, an extra pioneer or so. We have a medic bunker going up, probably by laid by a hobo. Yeah, so far we lost our rifle squad and a Volk squad, so. So far our losses are equivalent, basically? Yeah, pretty much. So now we've got a double Volks attack over here on the left-hand side going after the mortars, but no, hiding in cover is not the best way to go after mortars, <laughs> unfortunately. But he did manage to get him to move, so it's not a big deal. I think he thought that there still might be a machine gun over there this time, so he's staying well out of range of that. We do have a counter sniper now by the uh, by DGN here on the right. Is the sniper on the Axis side still alive somewhere? Let me see if we can find it. Mm, yes, back in yeah. the HQ, yep. Ah, he retreated it at some point. Probably the Jeep was getting a little bit too close. But I have to say, I really like the Allies, you know, coordination here with these units working together. I mean, this is what you always want to see when you have a weapon support center and a barracks opening. Very yeah, I definitely well agree that they played it just passive and just aggressive enough, to, just right for it to uh, for it to work as a as an opening. I guess the PGN wanted to kind of just camp the fuel for a little bit and. Uh, one of the big advantages of going weapon support center start, the biggest advantage you can have is they walk their first Volk squad right into it. And then you, it was definitely worth it uh, 
because then they have to retreat back. And it's, it's especially on, especially on some wow. Is that a Panzerfaust? Yeah, that was a Panzerfaust on the Jeep. Jeep. And of course, it didn't kill it. Isn't that funny? Hmm. Yeah, and folks at long range aren't going to really do much to that Jeep. Especially when it's Hilarious. got a five percent bug. The bike's going to come kill it. Watch this. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! For the love of God, kill it! There it is. Oh, those guys hey. went flying. That was a pretty short out of control, if I may say so myself. Well, it's out of control until it in. runs into something, usually. Uh-oh. Let's see if that bike's going to get hit by a mortar. Come on. Direct hit. Ah, not too much damage. I don't know what these flanking Volks have been doing down here. They haven't really been doing anything. They didn't capture the point. There's... Running away from barred rifles. Yeah, I'm running away. Is what I'm just very su surprised that we have another medic bunker going up uh, in the back. It's really close to the base, which I don't know. You think that's a little bit too far back, Rogers? That they're just being careful because of the weapon support center and the threat of mortars? Well, they're we probably just being careful at this point, and uh, they're going to use it to push up on the middle of BP right now, and that's probably a smart move because the medics will be able to get uh, injured and units back to the medic bunker much quicker. Um, I'd say it's a pretty good move right now. So, in addition, the uh, we have two weapon support centers now. Actually, the uh, we have constantly laid has built a weapon support. No, actually, I'm sorry, he did not. He just picked up the machine gun with a rifle squad. That's why I got confused. I saw, I saw that uh, constantly laid had a heavy machine gun team. I'm like, wow, he built the WSC too. No, he just he just grabbed a machine gun that was killed before. My bad. It's an interesting change of pace with uh, Axis being the. Not sure if they were too happy with the results because it doesn't seem like they've gained any ground from all those assaults on that fuel and uh, probably only gave the allies advantage. I mean, charging into MGs, sniper, mortar, bar, BAR, riflemen uh, with Volks. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty hard to do. So um, definitely, the Axis is going to have to have to rally. Probably probably tech up, which yeah, as they are doing. <laughs> Both sides are taking up. We got a tank yeah, coming a up on each Sturm side, and uh, we got a Krieg. I've I'm always thought that motor. this was this map really favored tier three, um, tier two, unless you're going to use a half track to get around the map pretty quickly. It just doesn't seem to work as effectively as you know a Puma or or Stug strategy. So oh no, uh, but a split strategy could be interesting. What do you guys think? Oh my God. Uh, Volks in the middle are about to get slaughtered, and then uh, over on the left side, you guys see the medic bunker that just went down? Whatever it is. Oh, wow. Pull the Goliath out of that bunker, and then send it over and drive it right into the middle of those two mortar teams that were so close together. It probably would have killed both of them. How did that bunker get killed? Uh, by the dual mortars. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, where the hell's the flamer? Okay, now I got it. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. That's not something I would think of, actually. I never think of using Goliaths. Because it was undefended completely. Yeah, so. and that would have been uh, a good chunk of manpower and lost. After our victory. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the mortar killed itself. <laughs> or I think it killed its, fr its teammate. One mortar fired, and it shot the hedge and exploded and killed the other mortar. You have the oh first God, three Grenadier yeah. squad come out for Nystrom um, from that ah. medic bunker. So I guess it wasn't too yep. bad of an idea. There it is. Enemy unit down. And we got a storm squad Pioneer there too. Pioneer dies on the right side. So we lost the, the what could have been the next Hans. He died earlier. Grenadier grenade out, easily dodged, does yep. nothing. Well, I think all grenades are easily dodged. They're the same, aren't they? Bar suppression know. in effect. Yeah. Uh, Grenadiers' grenades have a little bit more trajectory to them. They're not. They don't quite throw like uh, the rifles do. They seem wow. to overshot yeah. and fly at a different. Wow. Anyways. Flamers died. Yeah, that allied player just ran into a horde of infantry, and his guys just got completely torn up. He lost the. He lost a flaming engineer. And <laughs> that sounds wrong. And he also had to tear that rifleman back home. They're going to hit a mine here. Oh, God. That was bad by the middle VP. And uh, they also lost their plus 10 fuel, which is too bad as well. Oh, that was the Volk squad got hit by the mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see it. It lost all but one man. One, no, two men. There's a quad out on the field. 
Nice Panzer Shrek. I'm sorry, Panzer Faust. No, that was a. What was that? Yep. It was a Pack 38. Oh, it was a Pack 38. I see it. Now. Oh, and it's dead. Yeah. That. Holy wow. God, nice. The Pack 38 actually. Bravo. Oh, there's a sticky bomb on the Puma there. The Pack 38 actually did a ton of damage for its first shot. That's where it gets the plus 25% damage. That actually made a huge difference. I was surprised at how much damage it went from 100 to, to like nothing. And then it finished off by a Shrek. Meanwhile, the Puma's still alive. So this might be the, Ax a the Axis's chance for a comeback here on such a, uh, on such a tight map, even though the Axis is taking losses when, you, when you're talking about guys oh that are God. as good as this. Oh no, a croc. Right. At 13 minutes, holy Look at that. crap. Enemy Look at that! Don't you just love how quick it kills units and buildings and then the Flammenwerfer came? The building worth crap. It's yeah. Ah. I mean, yeah, it should be the anti-building thing, but Jesus Christ, don't make it 10 times more powerful than an engineer with a flamethrower. Yep. It's ridiculous. Oh, rifle's getting slaughtered in the yeah. middle. Yeah. He just gets, he's got so, oh. there's so much infantry. Mm -hmm. He burned the heck, that's a lot of manpower to lose for that little charge. The allies have to be pretty careful not to spread out their, their units too much at this point. Now you can see that Axis are kind of concentrating in one area. They have the medic bunker, their supply lines are a lot shorter. So uh, maybe getting a forward HQ wouldn't be such a horrible idea, but uh, we have AP rounds going yeah, off. Just yeah. took out the boom on the wow, left. Wow, yeah. And it just crashed on top of the gunner. That's <laughs> amazing, and he's still alive. Yeah, either a forward HQ somewhere. or... There he uh, is. <laughs> or get another half track and, and just use uh -huh. it to reinforce. Um, yeah. So is this count as heavy cover? The machine gun sticking out? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. They're really losing the left side hard, though. The Axis players, they're really losing the left. They lost that fuel they a while ago. They have very little resources. Yeah. They're really running out of resources. AT gun's about to finish off a Puma by the, uh, the munis and the fuel on the left side. Yeah, it's oh, gotta be really careful. Just, just barely missed. I just barely uh, didn't finish it. Nice oh, one just oh, got oh. firestorm. Look at the sniper. The just sniper one got vet. killed. Sniper went down. Oh. It was one vet. That's too bad. I heard an M10 the on the field now. The right side by the VP. I mean, not VP, but strap point. Mine went off. Allies still have the power now to bust through this. They've got a croc, an M10, and a Sherman on the field now. Another we quad airborne potentially, up. airborne indeed. And uh, we've got four CPs for DGN. I don't really know what careful. he is. On the left side, they have all those infantry bunched up. One straight here would kill. Oh God, yeah. That would be terrible. Yep. Grenade out. Grenade. Is nice that job. an airborne grenade there? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Look at all this. This is yeah, like amazingly level too bad. Wild. I sure hope that quad is upgrading. Not upgrading as far as I can tell, but I'm not actually on that player, so it might be. Here comes the croc. He upgraded oh, with the bulldozer. Does that increase? <laughs> oh my God! Look at they're all flying back. Oh yeah, master tree run. That's all yeah. you can do. Look at how much freaking damage that is. Is it? It's gonna hit the mine. It's gonna hit the yeah, mine. Yeah, it did hit the mine. I still don't understand how you could possibly... I mean, maybe the damage wasn't lowered the way they said it was in that last patch. Because it certainly looks like it's it's frying things left just as pack is owner face took out the half-track in the south, unless that was the, uh, the Grenadiers. I know the pack at least got a hit off of that M10. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is the problem. Maybe it, the Allies wouldn't be such a bad idea uh, to counteract that medic bunker. Um, just, Hobo's does, trying to slow down the Crocs retreat. Yeah, I see that. He's side. trying to maneuver in front of it so the Shreks can get off some shots. There he goes. Sector. Almost had oh, it. Oh, yeah. It'd be great if you could kill it. The Shreks goes might one. miss and kill his Puma, though. Yeah, that would be terrible. There goes another and another. Oh. Very low. Get your Puma oh, out of oh, there. Get the Puma. Oh, God. Wow, that was a very good mine placement now. It's trapped. I oh, yeah. oh no! No! Oh, Allied, Allied War Machine! <laughs> Allied War Machine! Oh! You gotta be kidding me! There it is! Free Croc! 
All right, let's Grenadier check out the map out. here. Axe is still in major trouble here. Even dis well, that wasn't oh, yeah. very much a victory anymore. But wow. Um, yeah, Croc needs some serious looking at. I just I can't get over that. It must have killed its amount of manpower like three times over in that attack. Oh, yeah, right totally. right side of armor, left hand side of uh, airborne versus terror and blitz. Interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of armor on the field. We got a Sherman, we got a Calliope, we got a Croc, we got what else? An AT gun on the left side. Nothing. Enemy. No They're tanks really on the ready. Axis though. They got AT guns. That's it. Nope. Only two AT guns. Lots and a whole of infantry. bunch of grenadiers and folks. Yeah. I mean, allies really don't have that much in terms of infantry because they've gone oh. so heavy into tanks. Oh, oh was that a mine on yeah, the left? Yeah, mine was brutal. Yikes. That was crazy. They were trying to close in on, on... Did the machine gun team pull them into the mine? Is that what happened? No, they just walked into it themselves. It was laid right by the graveyard entrance, and the machine gun was facing the building, so they could have flanked it easily. Ah. Now the uh, Volkswagen is coming to the right, but it's just going to get shut down by... Yep. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> Look at this. It's like the frickin' Russians are coming. Yep, pretty much. This is amazing. AT versus AT. Who will win? <laughs> 57 all the time. Oh. No, ah, they took your uh, your advice, Vince. We got that forward HQ now. Yep. For the yeah, allies. they really need something. Jeez, for the amount of it, oh, strafing, strafing run. run! Oh, there it is! Sweet wow, Jesus. that medic's got a lot on his hands. <laughs> yeah, That'll stop an advanced cold. No. Seriously, I was waiting for that. Now, yeah, wow. Uh, so I'm surprised that we haven't had vet veteran infantry yet. With all the infantry you got in the field, getting Vet 2 on that infantry would make a huge difference. We got Vet 1 now and laid by a hobo. Hobo has Nystrom just built a compound. Oh! Calliope attack! Going after... Oh God. Going after the bunker up there. Good. Looks like he missed a lot, though. And that is why the Calliope is overpowered against bushes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. From where the hell is it? It's all the way You're behind the south of the original BP. Oh, there it is. That's why he completely <laughs> missed that. it. Every time I see a player build a Sturm Armour, nice. it really never does very much for him. They build like two Pumas and that's it. That Panzer Shrek just took out the uh, mortar, that, yeah. team, that was the entire mortar team in the middle. I watched that. Now the Axis are holding their own, but they're very low on tickets. They don't have anything but 1 plus 5 fuel. Um, they're very much in trouble, and we got a croc doing a little mini base rush Versus here. the bike on the right side. <laughs> the bike's getting obliterated! I guess, I guess, uh, he doesn't have any armor protection at all on that bike there, you guess. He's a little bit exposed Seriously. there. Seriously. <laughs> the rifleman's cover was just obliterated by a Panzer Shrek. Another free grenadier squad from Nystrom. Dashful charge just went off on the left side by a new bunker. Almost took out an axis mortar, but they got away. There's the dead. Uh oh, uh oh, we got another. There it is. Oh! He barely survived that. Nope, got one. God. He got the Panzer Shrek squad. <laughs> That's one way to counter a medic bunker. I guess so. <laughs> Straight the hell out of it. Wow. Yeah. Well, Medic's like, damn it, I just fixed bunker. these guys! What the hell? Wow. Good use of MGs in the oh, back. Oh, man. Like, Look at this. Side. Too bad the strafing runs on a cooldown. Sorry, go ahead, man. It's crazy. They gotta be really careful. Watch out for another strafing run. That oh, yeah. All those bolts. Well, the Axis players uh, are definitely going to have to rally. I mean, cause we've been talking all this oh. time, haven't really mentioned the beat. Oh, no! Calliope! Oh! Left side. Snap! You don't need a strafing run when you got a Calliope, I tell you what. Five bolts, squad. Yeah, the Axis are down to 144 VPs and ticking out very quickly. So if they're not able to secure that VP on the 
right hand side, at least slow down the counter to buy him uh -oh. time. Uh, There's a mine right there. They're going to be under extreme pressure for the rest of the game. Yeah. It's down below 100. And Nystrom has to retreat from the center, loses the medic bunker. Wow. Oh, that's really bad. They lost three medic bunkers. Um, Engineer, we have upgraded lost. guns on the Shermans, though. I'm not sure who Shermans they are. Looks Maybe like uh, the upgun sure. Shermans are DGNs. He's got a couple of yeah, Shermans. The Germans just... are really running out of ammunition for their grenadiers. Yeah. So, uh, it's bad. Oh, there I goes the mine. I don't really know if oh. uh, single t single tier uh, three really worked out that well for him. No. I don't know. What do you guys think of the tagging tagging choices? I think either double tier three or double tier two, but I always prefer tier three because uh, there's long roads and uh, you know. That's just my take on it. Lots of places for, for you to sneak up and attack really quickly and for them to be in negative cover, which I think really favors Tier 3. Uh, yeah. There we I go. Would I would actually say Tier 2 to 4 for both players because they need that heavy armor right now. And even though the, the Tiger Ace is going to be coming out in 1 CP, I think they need that. They need Panthers, Austin. Uh -oh. They could use all that. Uh-oh. But they have to oh. long enough. <laughs> Strafing run just decimates. <laughs> Rifle spam on the left side. I mean, uh, Volk spam. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, Rifle spam in the everything. Oh. This is like mass devastation and carnage here. I mean, the Axis are just like, the Allies are like, okay, we're gonna choose some powers that devastate infantry. And the Axis are like, okay, we're gonna field masses amount of infantry. <laughs> no problem. Left side, MG suppressing two Volk squads. Oh, wow. man. I don't know what. He already what. went that way before, but he didn't learn from his mistake, I guess. I don't know what the heck the Axis players are going to do to get out of this, because right now they're, they're just losing guys. Right now. So many guys. Two Panzer Strikes direct hit on the MG does nothing. I don't know if they were direct hits. There goes. Whoa, one guy went flying. AT guns shooting at it now, and they can't kill it. Here come the Shermans. Yeah. This is bad, dude. Move but, back, back. Move nice back. tracks hiding in the flank there. Uncloaking Sherman and... Uh, down, or was that a crop? Crop down. Sherman in the middle is in big trouble. Sherman's about to die. Oh, there it is. And the 5% bug works in the Axis' favor this time. Oh, it doesn't. Never mind. The one yeah. time a Pac-38 can kill a Sherman. <laughs> 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 yeah. Shot up by about eight Shreks, though. So I yeah, I know. Helped. And here comes the turnaround. We got the Tiger Ace coming out in just under a minute and a half. So that that could be the uh, the turning point because my God, look at the VP as we're now dipping under uh, dipping under 75. I think it's a pretty big mistake for DJN to be sitting so many Shermans on the right hand side when the battle's not really taking place there. Yeah, Calliope in middle, white side of pack gun. There goes another brand new Sherman. Took quite a bit of damage oh my there. God. Ooh. Killed another Grenadier squad. Uh, thing on the left with the crawl bug is going to be cap. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's gonna get it. It's just like that bug just needs to be fixed because it's like it ruins games, you know. Like what would happen if that crawl bug happened ten seconds earlier, you know, and he couldn't decap it, so. Hopefully they'll it's fix that. Love, uh, tree crawl bug, isn't that great when they're like speed crawling back to the HQ? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, and you lose the whole squad because of that. Just would really like to see that fix. Axe is pushing hard on this middle. Mortars flying, they've got tons of infantry. This is going to be a Rifles devastating right. thing if we're going to see. Nice Tiger H should be popping out in about 20 seconds. Uh, I can feel his uh, finger itching on the button. We got 980, 990, and Booyah. almost. There we go, yep. 15, 15 manpower. Very good <laughs> micro on that Tiger H right there. Micro on the Tiger H button. <laughs> yeah. Order just... Oh man, mortar just bit it. They really need to start taking this point back now. Scraping run coming in on middle. Bombing run, holy shit! Oh! He did manage to get one, almost uh, killed some of those squads, but it wasn't as impressive yeah, as he would have hoped. Yeah. 
Puma's in big trouble here. Enemy there it goes. Live pickup. Kills, uh, what the hell is the Double ply barrage in the center. Oh wow. D -d 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 Finished off a squad. Tiger Ray says, I don't care. <laughs> and here comes the ace in the hole. Man, the ace in the hole that's engine. completely unsupported. This is big bad, bad thing right now. Alright, here comes the Volk spam. Honestly, how did that just get a damaged engine? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's the recoilless rifles killed it. it damaged the engine. I didn't see a I didn't see a uh, a sticky bomb there. Those double shred storms are really doing a lot of carnage. Yeah. But so are the upgun Shermans. That Tiger Ace is almost gone already. Tiger Ace is probably gonna die. Storms coming in. Secret from Tiger Ace hopefully. maneuver number three. Just go through the hedges Storm and get down. out of the line of fire. Wow, Tiger Ace, five percent life, damaged engine, cannot make it out is the question. That's a huge loss. Oh He'd man, be four gun minutes destroyed. away from replacing it. Here comes the Shrek power trying to save the Tiger Ace. If they had a Calliope right now. Oh, man. Or if he would have saved that bombing run, seriously. Yeah. Oh, he got it! Yeah, wow! He's not gonna get it. Wow. Oh, will it fire? Oh, will it yes! Fire when it's <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Double oh, kill. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Double kill. Gotta go. Double kill. So here we have this the regular MGs tiger. These are really me in trouble with these axes infantry here. So you get rid of one tiger, you know you gotta have another one. So we got uh, laid by a hobo just to put out the first blitzkrieg. Uh, tiger Whoa! Oh! Now that's a good calliope barrage. I mean, there were guys spread out everywhere, and it did tons of damage. Oh no, the shed went down. Oh. Oh. How the hell are we gonna do anything with the shed down? Gotta How decap are you that. the soldiers now? <laughs> Well, we still got freaking 35 VPs here. Axis are desperately wow. trying to get something back again. The allies are going to take back the middle here, too. Unless they're careful. Uh -oh. oh, jeez. The Axis so Sherman desperately need Panzer IV. Tiger is. No, we have two Tigers in the field now from late. And theoretically, that won't be possible in the future. Is less than wow. 25. Are you kidding me? They're gonna somehow rally from this. I mean, they're losing the they're losing the middle. Two tigers in the middle. There it is. Middle's neutral. Middle decap. We're gonna tie it out here. It looks like about 17. Sherman about to die in middle. Two Shermans on the right side, though. They're probably going to come up and try to get middle. Left side's going to fall again. Yeah. One Pioneer, uh, Engineer, and uh, two Bar Volts. I mean, uh, Rifle. One Bar Rifle, actually. Yeah. Double that Bar Rifle, actually. Yeah, exactly. Engineers are sticking around for some reason. I don't know. Is he going to be able to actually get it all the way up? We got a nice AT gun in there. That's a great AT drop. That's going to be able to support these riflemen. Anything that comes near. Like that Tiger. Get out. They don't stop the cap in time. They need to get the one on the left yeah. side, but it's heavily guarded. Here comes the strafing oh, run. They're going to stop the... On the right side. Are they going to stop the cap? Bombing run or a strafing run of some kind. The strafing run didn't do anything. They missed them. It misses. Wow. They're not going to be able to right stop him. I thought for sure. He's trying to kill that squad. He just wants it to die. Triple veterans here. Oh. Got an HE drop right behind it. Oh, that's such a... Yeah, the Allies really don't have any infantry on the field right now, period. They yeah. One squad of recoilers. Mm. Dual Calliope's firing middle. Missing nothing. Hitting nothing. Actually, the Tiger's backing into it, just as it stops. Yeah. This is a bombing run. It must be a bombing no, run. It was, uh, oh, no, it's a recon. recon. 
RR is coming to fight a double vet uh, tiger. The first Pershing on the field right now, I should be able to at least deter that, uh, that oh, double vet tiger. And Save that recoilless rifle, come on! Retreat, retreat, there you go. Good, good retreat. He can kill that tiger if he's careful. He can kill that tiger if he's not oh, careful, yeah, he's still gonna on. get it. No way to do that. Wait, wait, look at all these Shreks coming up from behind, though. I think we just got a Blitzkrieg. I, Blitzkrieg! Yep. Fire Assault. To the wind. Or that is it? Oh, that's oh. Inspired Assault. I'm okay, I'm sorry. Gotta get that Pershing out of there right oh, now. Oh, jeez, Inspired Assault oh my Infantry God. against the Pershing. Hey! <laughs> Allied Imbo Machine. Inspired Assault, I mean, Allied uh, Imbo yeah. Machine, indeed. Oh. Free person. Here come the Shermans. They got Allied War Machine on too. They're coming in to. We we're invulnerable. <laughs> you can't kill us. <laughs> if they do, we'll be back in ten seconds. <laughs> Pretty much. Good timing on the Allied Imbo Machine. Oh! They're still not doing too much damage. Did it? Like they... a triple Panzerfaust. Is that oh, what just they happened? Need to leave now. Why are they killing? All right, there we go. Now they're. Nice. Down. Second Sherman barely makes it out of there. No, it's not gonna. Oh, it will. That's he's lucky. He's got two grands with about five percent health. He's really got to get those squads back. And there he goes. There Good we go. Good retreat by Nice. He really needs to cap the uh, plus ten fuel and the plus ten munitions on the left side. <gasps> uh oh. More territory. Oh. And it overshoots though. Yeah, it did get oh. one or two rockets fell in the right place, but. Too far to the north, looks enough. like. He was too far away when he fired it. He's on the bottom right-hand side, I think. Allied and players desperately in need of one more victory point. Yep. Nystrom's definitely going to give the Axis team a little bit of breathing room now that uh, nice he has mind. propaganda war. And as uh, enough munitions to use it, uh, about... He's got 180, so in another... In, uh, plus 37 income, so in another minute he could use it twice as a deterrent. Probably going to use it on these airborne on the left, left coming up to the Tiger that are going to try to uh, probably fire up and get the VP or just run away. I'm just surprised I was oh. thinking about it. You know, there was definitely, I don't know, did you guys see any pioneers uh, to repair those Tigers? Anywhere? Mm, I just see two I pioneers see two. now at middle, but yeah. uh, I don't know. That's all I've seen. Yeah. Maybe a couple All more pioneers here and there for Other repairs. One. Another double Pershing on the right now, it looks like. And that Tiger's got a damaged engine on the right. And he's got it right next to the VP, so I assume the Allies can see it. That's a bad idea. That Tiger needs to get out of there. Just, you know, it's got like 10% health. Just repair it, fix the engine. Airborne are getting slaughtered in the middle. Oh my god. Bombing run? Oh. Really, really devastating bombing run. Almost. Yeah. Man, those bombing runs are almost correct. Here comes the Pershing on the right. Come the Backed up by a Sherman. Man, that is a crap load of allies. Two fly, be the Sherman, dual Pershing. That's all DGNs, right? And here comes Calliope Barrage to back it up, kill that tiger. Another Calliope Barrage to kill the tiger. Calliope oh. Barrage is rockets like crazy. The last rocket, it's got it. No. Booyah, baby, Ooh. booyah. Tiger down. Tiger down. Wow, that was a massive amount of artillery. Close range, double There's Calliope much. Barrage from different directions and two Pershing shooting at it. That tiger was history. Meanwhile, the Pershing and the Sherman both look at that Grenadier crazy. squad and destroyed it. Hopefully we get to see some V1s here. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> like right here in, on the right-hand side next to that strat point. Say goodbye to both your that Pershings. That everything. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. But that mine placement on, right the, on the road over here is what made that Tiger yeah, die. There is a mine, though, which I think the Allies had placed, or was it? Yeah, two right. mines over there by the VPs for mm -hmm. Allies, they placed them. Yeah, they so placed they one on the road over here that was very useful. Lots of yeah, armor, they I really need to start producing up. riflemen. Action's yeah, definitely going to dig in right now. Probably, yeah. <laughs> if there's ever a time to get a bunker up, it might be now. Yeah. 
We'll see, though. I mean, 11 victory points. The Allies have to grab a victory point and hold on to it for, what, a minute for that to win? Something like that? Yeah. Maybe less? I always find on this map Wendell that Nade. left VP... Ouch. That left VP tends to be the most difficult to hold for whatever reason. See, what the Allies could do now is they could make a heavy push with their armor to the middle and uh, bring in some infantry and then cap the... Uh, actually, what they should do, since they have propaganda war, the Axis, they send one squad up and then it gets retreated. Then they send the other squad in to cap the middle VP, drop paratroopers on the left side and try to get the uh, the left-hand VP. I think that's what they could do right now. But Yeah, I think he's firing blind into the middle right now. Yeah. Calliope misses completely. Now we still, what we really need is some barred infantry here to grenade that pack or uh, or to back up these Pershings, basically. Yeah. Nice now. He's just, uh, out. he's just keeping his munitions right now so he can just spam uh, propaganda war all he wants. Yep. That's, that's probably going to be very useful. Packs are actually doing damage to a person, yeah. but here comes a Calliope strike. Oh my god. It's, Wait for the Allied War Machine, it's coming. There that it Sherman, is. That, that person is going to die. Allied War Machine. That rod is taking it from a little bit too far back. He could get that Tiger. Yeah. Can he do nice it? Nice micro on the Tiger, though. Move the front in direction of both of them. Straight to the front, missed horribly. Ooh, is he going to get those persons out of there? Now he needs to retreat, now. He needs to get them out of there. Especially the damaged oh. one. Oh, killed by... Killed a pack. A pack. pack. But he lost it. Wow. Now, if only he had that another cooldown up. What's he doing? Oh. oh. dead. Oh, good lord. Man. Yep, suicide charge. I mean, he just desperately needs those suppression from a bars to help out against all yep. those Shreks. Here comes more fly piece in the middle, yeah. probably. Unfortunately, it is a little bit overshot there. Where the hell did they come down? Middle? They came down on no. the road where the, sh where the Shrek storms are. Yep. Oh, okay. Man, that Calliope's a sitting duck. So is the Pershing that's at only half health. Two oh, Calliope's, two storm squads. Oh, this could be bad. They're gonna win. They were, oh, one's what gonna hit he? a mine that... Oh, oh no, that's gonna that's gonna hurt him now. Oh, he shot the mine. The Pershing shot the mine, and it basically suppressed, which will definitely give him ample time to take the fly if he's out of danger. Propaganda war retreated engineers in the middle. That Sherman's in. I mean, Pershing is in so much trouble on the right side. Oh, Sherman about to die middle. What the hell did he think of running that Sherman through the middle? I don't understand. I don't know. We have a huge mass of airborne coming. You see that in the south middle? Oh my god, yeah. they're That's all on fire up. Treated. Is that what just happened there? Yeah, fired up. Okay. Barbed now he's going to have to send one forward or they're all going to get retreated by propaganda war. He needs to not bunch them together. Oh, Propaganda's still on cooldown. I don't know why he's waiting. We got another Tiger Ace coming in. That was propaganda right there, was it? Yep, yep, yep. Send the other two squads. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That Tiger Ace is on the way. Well, it doesn't oh, matter. God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Strafing run, strafing run. Didn't do too much. Got, I think, a little bit of the guys oh. there. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't matter anymore. He lost the right-hand side. This is this is a fool's oh, yeah, errand. I didn't see that. So he needs to retreat those they guys. Don't even bother. Just the ball the squad. Uh oh, point blank Calliope is going to do a good bit of damage. Nice backup micro from the Tiger, though. Yeah. Is he going to try and crush those in? That Pershing is going to finish him off. No, never mind. He's too low health. Tri 
triple bet on that tiger. So this is, yep. this is definitely going to be really difficult to take them out now. Yeah. That's quite an uphill battle. With the, he still the, hasn't uh, got another per. Oh, there's the other Pershing. B1! Ooh, doesn't have enough, though. Is it yeah. pro? I haven't heard that in a while. Uh-oh. Calliopes Dude. are both exposed to this tiger. Pershing's trying to chase it down. That Another one bounces to off. To Two shells. There it is. Oh, that nice kill. Nice kill. Veteranize the Pershing. Oh, no. He needs those calliopes on cooldown right now. Spin it, spin it, holy shit, spin it. There he goes. Uh, Pershing. There we go. He wants those calliopes dead. Yeah. Allies but he knows if he leaves another blitz I can fall through that sector. Whoa, check out the wire in middle, guys. Check that out. Yeah, I saw when he started Ooh. that. That's uh, very smart. Hell, maybe even put some sandbags there. <laughs> More oh, he's driving left. right into the Calliopes. And taking a blast from a Pershing. That's bad. Damaged that, that engine. could go down if he... We have a V1. Could, could, could we see one? Oh. Allies are reclaiming the right-hand side. The other Calliope's firing. Oh, nice hit. Two rockets hit it head-on. Yeah. Up there, chase Pershing it, chase is it. in oh, trouble no. now. On the way. Oh no! He needs to kill that tiger. Race. He has to kill. Got him. it. Now he's got to book the hell out of there. Ah, nice. Speed retreat, out. Retreat. Wow, level two bad. Transformers, <laughs> transform and roll out. You cannot lose that. You really can. Blitzkrieg uh, on the tiger. Blitzkrieg pop. Blitzkrieg, yep. No, why are you driving yeah, off the road? He's just trying to get behind cover, I guess. I don't know. He doesn't have anything else on the field. Look at this. Allies are, <laughs> allies are completely devoid of units. You have an M10 out on the left. Side. Yeah, it's not going to help. Calliopes are probably still on cooldown. He's got a mine on the left. He's going to try. Panzer Shrek! Panzer Shrek engineers to the, to the rescue! <laughs> oh, it's Panzer not going to save friend. him. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Purging went down. Rear armor hit. If he we got an if M8 he on the field. do a double calliope barrage, he could potentially like... take it out, yeah. Is he coming yeah, to absorb fire, fire, fire from oh, the shit. I'd say V1 on that position. As soon as they start capping, V1 that shit. Propaganda. Oh! Mass retreat. That's wow. why you don't bunch your units. That's why you don't bunch your units up. Ouch. But look at the right hand side, Tiger. Very low. Nice. Finishes off Very the engineer good squad. Use, I'm telling you, man. Almost took great. it out. Yeah, definitely. Why does they he have an They would probably have that cap on the left, too. Damn. Yep, if they wouldn't have had propaganda, they would have gotten that VP. I didn't even see what's wow. going on on the left there. Wow. <laughs> oh, the other Calliope's going. Wow, the infantry's still. Oh, he moves in too oh, close. Oh, man. He just did. That sucks. <laughs> He's gonna kill that Lyope. Oh. Keep backing up. Another tiger race. Oh, he got it! Wow, long range. We have a Greyhound in the field. Check this out. Left side I moving to middle. That. It's about to get two shotted. I don't I'm know what he built that for. If he did it by accident or what? <laughs> He's running over the. <laughs> He's capping! He's capping! 5% bug! 5% oh, bug! 5% rear bug! Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, it's gone. If only tigers could cap victory points, they'd have that one on the right. <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised what, uh, what in a game like this, once, you know, per when Pershings fail, and Shermans fail, and Crocs fail, and Bard Ride, when everything fails, <laughs> maybe it will be the M8 that will save your day with the raid. But uh, yeah. I, I applaud, who was that? Was that Dave? Dave. Yeah. Now, they need awesome. to start working together, because they were working together Got a very well about early. The tiger on the right. They are working together very well early, but recently they've just been, like, taking their own sides, and that's not working well for them at all. Yeah. Yeah, and the Axes are just sitting there and waiting, and uh, just trying to send a Tiger or two to the right, keeping a... They were... Oh, man. They should really chase that wounded Tiger, seriously. Uh, oh, yeah, Goliath time, baby. 
<laughs> we have a Goliath oh, in the middle, right? Ah. <laughs> Good usage. I'm happy to finally see a repair station. Right. And we do have salvage going on. Nystrom being the excellent player that he is. Level 3 vet as well as salvage on the... What is that? That would be a... Which hall is that? Is that an M10? That's an M10 hall. Yeah. 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 Where are you talking about? Middle? Oh, and uh, left side next to the middle VP. They just crushed it. They're going after the croc. Yep. Yeah. Help considering we might see a V1. I mean, for God, he's got. I really hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. Probably <laughs> waiting to drop it on that infantry board. <laughs> I've got five bucks. We have another M8. Team. I think he's building M8s because no. they can't be retreated. That's actually not a bad idea if he can take the area with everything else. If he can destroy the tiger and take everything else, then he can bring the M8 in. Don't throw the M8 in first, which is what he's doing, unfortunately. Aww. Or he's just getting it in position. I don't yeah, know. You can again. Just one propaganda. He needs to like, space him out right now. Yeah, we do have uh, finally a bunker going up on the left side. And we have two other bunkers. One's a repair station. Looks like laid by hobos upgrading. What is it? And it's another repair station, so those Tigers are not going to have any problem to have a fallback point now. Yeah. This MA just harmlessly driving into a Tiger's launch. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. I think it laid a mine, did it? Uh, um, I don't see one. Nope. Nystrom now has almost 800 We're at munitions. 200 points. Salvin yep. really paid off for him. Croc in big trouble. Two Tigers. AT gun in the oh. middle. That's not a bad move. Oh, is he going to V1 it or retreat it? He's probably going to retreat all those guys there. All the parrot. No, V1 coming in in the middle. I don't hear it. Oh my God. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh no. God. He's still. He's moving the rifleman. He's moving him. What to do? Oh my God. Right on the AT no. gun. What's going on? Where is it? There it is. AT gun oh! is gone. Rifles are still here. Oh, oh. there comes something else. Bombing run. No, fire, that's yeah. a oh, no, rocket artillery. Yeah. What? what is that? Just like that, 800 munitions is spent. Wow. Yeah, fire and he used propaganda, too. Wow. He could, but look at this. The allies capping. Yeah, they're coming. Calliope Barrage is trying to stop the Axis from stopping him. And he's, he's raiding on the left. Almost got, almost decapped. He's gonna oh. free him now, though. He can't. Oh, he almost fully capped it. I see. So now that means they're hurting. Six tickets left. Long they're trying desperately run. to capture the middle. Tiger's getting hurt. Oh. Here it goes. He's almost there. He's got airborne to back. No, Five, retreating. Four. <laughs> oh. Three. But he's still two tickets. Two tickets. Two. Oh, he capped the left. He capped the oh. left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Insanity. And we still have like 20 minutes to go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was awesome to see a V1 though. Holy shit. Yeah. Too bad they, they couldn't ages. make like real dynamic maps where it creates a giant freaking crater that nothing can, that tanks can't move through. Yeah. Yeah, I hope Nystrom picks up the, uh, there's two, uh, <laughs> what is it, two Panzer Strikes and one BAR in the middle. DGN breaks the silence of the match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, what happened to the, the Pershing? Where the heck did that go? Is that it? DGN's has like nothing on the field. He's been he's got Pershing syndrome here. Meanwhile, the medics are running all over the minimap. I can see him. Yeah, I think the airborne manpower issue has really got to him. If you look at how many just how many supply drops he has, one, two, three. Four. I mean, I'm looking at at least five. No, that's not DGN though. That's that's uh, constantly like uh, he has a bunch of stuff on there. I see. Yeah, if if you take that into consideration, that's you know six six squads right there, pretty much. So. That's, yeah. That's, that's, now, what that, are they using that to lot. get? Uh, munitions mostly for the bombing runs and stuff, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Strafe, etc. I think. Like multiple medic stations, and that would have helped them make up for their losses. I think. Yeah. Yeah, now we finally have some riflemen up here. We have infantry. Man, that was a good move was, with the uh, with the M8 though. 
able to take yeah. that down and, and decap it at the very least to neutral. And he got them both neutral at the same time. Very good coordinated assault. That was really well done. Here comes Another Calliope to the drop. center. Here comes Calliope. Right as they pick up the Panzer Shrek, but I don't know. Triple veterancy on a Stug oh, there, too. Yeah, Stug takes two direct hits, takes about 10% damage. Sending in the engineers first. I don't think he, needs, <laughs> he doesn't need to use propaganda war on those engineers. Oh, jeez. Croc in there, trying to do his best, but triple veterancy, Grenadiers. It's not going to oh, do I too much. Oh, yeah, I had to retreat two of his squads. should retreat all of that infantry right now. Holy shit. They're going to take it. We got a... Uh, there goes one. Man, we need air. Air. No, he doesn't. He's not going to get it. We got some coming, coming in. in. I don't straight know what that was. Is that a strafing oh. run? I didn't see it do anything. Oh. God. Two tigers and a stug just rips that infantry to pieces. Greyhound going for the middle of the left side BP. I see that. There's still a tiger a guarding it, though. Miss. <laughs> Miss. Didn't even get close that time. <laughs> They could use, like, another Calliope in, like, mass amounts of artillery. I don't know. Something in the middle, because this middle has been... Airborne really hasn't been helping them. Seriously. The bombing runs and strafing runs haven't been the doing The strafing runs were good early, but they've been doing almost nothing recently. And yeah, now that we yeah, have a second wall... Uh, go ahead, Rogers. Uh, I just said we got a... It's probably because we have third veterancy on most of the infantry right now. That's probably why strafing runs aren't doing much. Yeah. Now that we have a small second of a lull, what do you guys think about uh, after you have all your CPs, when you get experience, it like adds to your manpower instead? I'd like that. That'd be nice. Instead eh. of just going to waste and doing anything. That yeah, could be an interesting little design to the end. Slippery yeah. slope mechanic? I don't know. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, you get, you get experience when your units die, too, which is weird. Yeah. Calliope Barrage to the Calliope infantry on the right left. BP. Or right, yeah, sorry. Again, it's that triple veterancy really does a lot of protection. They did lose a bunch of guys, but they would have lost a lot more without it. Mine spam by left VP. Huh. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, and they should salvage the Greyhounds. <laughs> Awesome stuff. They're just covering MG bunker with MG bunker in the middle. <laughs> no infantry is going to be able to crack that. Wow. Looks like they're going to make a mass push from uh, behind. They're going to come up from the right side and hit middle yeah. from behind. Looks like that's what they do. That's not a bad idea. Mass right. Yeah. Unless they go for a base rape, I guess they could do that too, but they don't have enough firepower. No. I like the stuh that's behind the sandbags. <laughs> you know, again, you see another supply drop going down. 200 manpower pot. That's a lot of manpower. Yeah. I wonder how many man... Seriously. I mean, uh, munitions. That's what I meant. Because uh, I'd like to know if they could call in a bombing run. Because they needed a bombing run in that last engagement, but they didn't get one. Right now, the... Uh... Grenadiers are getting LMGs. Sandbags everywhere. The armor player has a good chunk of munitions, but he doesn't have the two Pershings that he might want to use the uh, chunk yeah. of munitions on. Allied war machine type style. Uh, bunkers, you know, Bridger bunkers are definitely not overpowered. I mean... There's only seven like, of them. <laughs> they're totally balanced. You build like 12 of them, right? That's cool. I'm, I'm going to dig that. I don't know. Oh, we are base rushing. Are you kidding me? Ah, <laughs> wow. I was right. They're going to go for the HQ first, probably with double Calliope's. Yeah. And then I come in with all the airborne. Into the middle, No, maybe? the airborne. No, it's a distraction. The yeah. air, the are going to go for middle. That's a good move. 
It is. It's the only move they have with 95 PPs. At least it might draw some of their heavy armor off. Yep, there goes the tiger. Eight T guns are falling nice, back. Nice, nice, nice. They're gonna double nice. Goliathy barrage right from behind it to make sure it hits. Oh man, look at that! Oh, rockets going wow. right through the HQ. And they're hitting the creek barracks. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that was a not a bad. That now get those Calliopes out of there. Run the hell away. There they go. Here oh, bombing in the middle. Bombing yep, 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 yep. Oh, beautiful bombing run, but I, it does little to nothing. Yeah, well, it, it hurt that stuff. I just don't think they realized. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got Greyhounds capping the VP. Oh my God, Shrek's trying it? to stop them. Look at Almost the there, twenty percent. Get the other Greyhound, take over. He's <laughs> taken over right away. He's taken over. Get the other one. Get Look at all the freaking machine guns. Damaged engine. Oh no, he needs to keep his his infantry over there. It's suppressed. He can't do it. Main gun destroyed. He's almost there. No! No! Oh, no, no he's crawling. He's oh crawling. Oh. Wow. How is Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Calliope's over here going, wow. That was worthless. Wow. That was a good plan, though. Distract him. Was. That was really now, a good idea. Why didn't he use the Allied War Machine on his Pershing in the north? Did he guess not notice, I guess? He probably wasn't paying attention. But they got the HQ. Yeah, they did? Ah. Uh, yep. Wow. So no more Tigers <laughs> if we managed to kill two of them. Well, that was really fun. That would have been, uh, I don't know. He would have been close enough to try and start decapping it, but would it even have... Would he have been able to survive the time it takes to decap it? I don't know. No, no way. Definitely two points would have ticked off. But those those bunkers really saved them. The infantry could, they could do run. nothing. That was insanely close. They have no infantry left. They have a Greyhound. And they're building another one. <laughs> they're just going to send a Greyhound train in there. Well, now that the uh, Tigers are back... Is that a star or a star? Well, is firing on nothing. Star. That's uh, interesting. Sometimes you yeah, just got to make sure there's no down. stormtroopers right there. You got a paranoid guy on the button going, Oh my god! I think I see a stormtrooper! Blow the hell out of that bush! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> couple mines going down in the center. Yeah. Let's see a Greyhound come through this now. Stunned. There goes that's necessary. the last best chance for hope. For peace. You mean the five victory. bunkers isn't enough? Two oh my god, we have three uh, M8s. <laughs> Here they go. Going to the left would be better. There's tons of mines there, but yeah. it would still be better. And we're getting armored skirts on them. God, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I don't know. They have he two doesn't M10s have, He doesn't have enough for uh, crew repair oh, vehicles. If he had that, then he could do that. He's sending two to the middle and one to the left. He should send we're two to the left. To 50 points. He's got an M10 going to the left, maybe to draw some fire, or is that going to the middle? I think if they all went to the left, they really would have a chance. There's only one really Tiger over there. Know. It's going to hit that mine. It might take out the pack. It might take out the pack. It did! But he can't get close enough to decap it. There goes the M10. Obliterated instantaneously. Oh my god, but it killed the pack. <laughs> and that's it. There goes the M10. Wow, that is just a corridor of death. <laughs> Here comes another M10. What the fuck? Wow. God. I don't know what to say about that's that, but yeah. There. GG. I can't believe yeah. that ending. Quarter of a second away they came from victory. So close to with that. Yeah, like one more second, they would have won. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 he typed it to team victory first. That's all. Where we at? The Germans are moving in. No, they're taking the right side. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Here it comes. Fast Greyhound going. This is going to hit the mines and just go right out of control. 
Oh, it killed all the nuts. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, Airborne's really not done anything Born. for him recently. They needed medic stations, that's all I'm gonna say. Medic stations for the win, they really... Oh, another V1! Where's it coming down? Right hand side on the Calliope, maybe? Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably right on the BP or something. Probably right on his Tiger, maybe. There it is! Oh! Right in between the calliopes. You know, I don't like the way that hedge looks there between the calliopes. Let's obliterate it, okay? That'd be good. Kill it! They're microwing. He's microwing around the tiger. This Go! This M10 is... Jesus, this is going That's back gonna notes. kill that tiger, too. Did that, M did that uh, calliope just survive a V1? Or it just did just survive a V1. Eyes, uh... It did. It did survive a V1. It got a main gun destroyed and that was it. Well, nice. it's only got 5% left. zing it a zing Indeed. Yep. That was the longest game ever. Hour and three for the win. Yeah. Wow. Medic stations, allies, medic stations, medic stations. And again, yeah, medic stations. I agree with Rogers. The aid stations definitely would have uh, allowed them to keep more manpower at the front <laughs> line. <laughs> he needed yeah. two bunkers. <laughs> Look at all the M8 carcasses. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's really awesome. Just mine, mine, bam! Explosion. Ugh. Wow, that, I don't even, I'm breathless. I got nothing left to say. That was amazing. Thanks for emailing me the game, DGN. <laughs> Indeed, excellent. Seriously. It's a really, really good game. I wish you could see the stats at the end of it, but yeah, that oh. bug. It's like 600,000 like manpower thousand. lost or something. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. I don't have any. I don't even have any post-game comments. I think that's it. That, we just gotta leave that masterpiece as it is. Mm. Two to zero. Yes, sir. Thanks everybody for tuning in to Tales of Heroes. Remember, if you'd like your replay to be broadcast here on Tales of Heroes, go ahead and send it to Tales of at GameFire.com. T A L E S O F at GameFire.com. Send us your questions, comments, feedback as well. We really appreciate it. We do read every single email, even if you don't necessarily get a response. Post on our forums, Gamefire forums. We got a little blog system there. Some people are taking advantage of that, so read those. There's a pretty cool one about strategy and RTS and stuff, so check out our blogs on Gamefire.com. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs>